Hello everyone and welcome back to FTL. Uh, my name's Dan, Dragonfly9078, and this is... Oh, part... Five? Yeah, I think it's part five, actually, of my... Uh, one, two, three... Yeah, so this is part five of my... Uh, of the red tail portion of my... Uh, my let's play part five of my red tail run um part six of the actual thing because i did a one with like the kestrel that you know utterly failed but uh but so we in the last episode we made it <coughs> sorry i've got a bit of a cold um in the last episode we made it all the way to sector seven uh sector seven out of eight so we are well on our way, uh, and hopefully we will actually make it. Uh, so, just a second. Sorry, sound wasn't working. I think I got it working. My computer just has trouble with sound with this game. I don't know why. Um, so, let's move on a rock ship except they're pirates except they are still rocks so let's see um a beam teleporting bomb and a burst laser so not overly problematic but I still don't want them to be able to hurt me, so. The teleporting bomb, I don't know what kind of bomb it is. Might be an ion bomb so that I can take out my shields or my weapons. Um. Also, I'm not sure what kind of beam that is. It looks powerful enough to go through one layer of shields. Um, so... I don't want that to happen either, obviously. Okay, now that we've got their shields, or their weapons down a bit, let's focus more on the shields. Okay. Or we could just you know, keep missing, and let them get everything back online. That works too, I suppose. It doesn't really work, I was just being sarcastic. But I'm sure you all know that. You are smart people. Probably, I don't actually know you, but... Oh well. If it seems like I'm rambling, it's just because I really don't have anything to talk about at this point in the uh, in the run. Uh, I mean, it's a battle. You know how these work. I'm just shooting and hoping that I beat him. So, it's very... It is unfortunate, but it many battles will probably be like this. But he's gone, so that's okay. And I got a lot of scrap off him. That's good. Um, well, what do I have in the way of equipment? Okay. Alright. Let's jump away. We have plenty of missiles. Oh, and there's a sun. I think this might be the first sun we've run into with the red tail. I'm pretty sure we hit a sun with the, with the kestrel. Um, actually, let's just open everything. And close 
close some of these doors. Oh, I actually have not retarget. I haven't targeted my weapons, have I? Okay, so. Ooh, that is a nasty looking array of weapons. But on the bright side, since he has those and three layers of shields, he probably doesn't have much dodge. I'm just going to run some more of these rooms. Just to increase the uh, speed of the venting, I suppose. <sighs> oh, I got the doors. Repower my shields. I am just really out of it today. I'm sorry. He has a med bay, so it might just be smarter to jump away, honestly. But I don't really want to, <laughs> so I'm not going to. They'll be fine, they're in the med bay. Oh, that's a breach, that's bad. Hmm, I'm actually not sure I'm gonna be able to uh, survive after this. And the teleporter in this empty room, but that's fine. Yes, I'm gonna try not to just like jump away from battles that I can't win or that I think I can't win uh, over the course of this LP. So it is unfortunate, but unless it's like really, really I'm about to die, then. I'm probably not going to jump away and oh my god he hit my oxygen, I did not see that. That's a problem. I need to repair that, like now. Just a bit more. Just a little bit more. <laughs> of course he resists it. Okay, so he's gone. So... Um, I'm actually going to send Maloney to go start repairing that, because I need my doors shut. A ball, I guess, is the word. This is not going to work. He's going to die. God dang it. Way too slow. Okay. I got to jump away. 
Let's jump away. Somewhere safe, hopefully. <laughs> this is not safe. This is an asteroid field. I don't think I've ever seen that kind of shit before. Oh my god. Charlie's gonna die. Charlie's gonna totally die. <sighs> yeah. This is a problem. This is a major problem. <laughs> Charlie's just gonna die from suffocation, I'm sure. Oh wow, he didn't. Awesome. And I can't even open that. Okay. Let's see. Oh god. Yeah, this is not gonna work. That's not even the right place. Uh, but I, I really don't think I've ever seen this kind of ship before. That's cool. Uh, man, let's go. Where are you going? Gonna totally die. There's a fire there too. Why is there a fire there too? Jeez. This is all. Oh, that's why, because the fire can spread. My rooms are not airtight with the blast doors like they normally are. Oh wait, is the breach in my hole fixed? Oh my god, it is. Did I know that? Yes, I did. Shoot. That's not good. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm gonna- I came so far, but I'm gonna die now. That's what, that is what is going to happen here. Oh, this is not good. Oh, my slug is gone. I just can't even do anything. I have no weapons. Well, I have weapons now, but they're terrible weapons. They can't get through a shield at all. Yep. That's it. That's gone. There goes the, uh, there goes the red tail. Okay, so, um, Redtail had a nice run, uh, got all the way up to Sector 7 before it finally exploded, um, <coughs> that was a fun run, uh, so, that's, I guess, where I'm gonna end the episode, because I can't really do anything else. Uh, so, thanks for watching, I guess. Uh, in the next episode, I will be beginning a new run. Um, so, I went through the, uh, the two most basic ships. Uh, well, I tried to go through with the two most basic ships, and I failed with both of them. Although the red tail did much better than the Kestrel. So, for the next one, uh, <coughs> I would like to hear what you guys have to say. Um, I'm going to, I guess, like look at the comment section, and, uh, and if people want me to use a specific ship, you know, just let me know, um, in the comments. My, the choices are this one, the Nasasio, uh, which is a stealth ship. It's very sleek. Um, begins with a mini beam and a two-shot laser, uh, and three humans. The interesting thing about the Nasasio is it 
it does not have any shields at all, and it relies entirely on the uh, on a cloaking device, which is what it begins with. Um, so it is difficult to use, but uh, but you know, it could be fun. There's also the Taurus, which is a uh, which is the NG ship, NG NG, uh, the only alien we have not had a crew member of. Uh, the Taurus is mostly focused on drones. <coughs> it begins with uh, with an ion cannon to disable the enemy shields and an anti-ship drone to cause damage. Uh, it also starts with two NG and a human. Or it's Type B layout, which uh, also focuses on drones, but m focuses more on the... Uh, the on your ship kinds of drones uh so it starts with anti-personnel drones that will fight off uh intruders on your ship and two system repair drones to repair things on your ship a uh, heavy laser to do damage and ion cannon to take out shields only starts with one crew member but it does and it also starts with no sensors so that could be interesting the osprey uh, is the Federation ship. It only starts with one weapon, the Burst Laser 2, which is a three-burst laser, a, a three-shot laser. Um, I think it's honestly one of the best weapons in the game. Same one the, uh, same one the Kestrel started with. Um, starts with a variety of people, uh, an NG, a Mantis, a Rock, and a Human. It, the, uh, cool thing about the Osprey and its, uh, its other layout, the Nysos, are that they have their own beam weapon. They have an artillery beam uh, that fires automatically, pierces all shields, and is generally very powerful. The only problem is it takes a long time to charge up. So it can be a fun ship. Uh, the Nysos has less people, but it has a Zoltan and a Slug, which are what the uh, Osprey does not have. Um, it comes with a two-shot laser and a missile launcher, so it does have a bit more, I guess, offensive power along with a, uh, a with the artillery beam. Uh, my personal favorite ship that I've unlocked is the Man of War, this one right here, it is the Slug Ship. Starts with a two-shot laser, a breach bomb that will teleport onto your opponent's ship and open up breaches in the hull and, you know, hurt people and damage systems. Starts with two slugs, uh, you know, they're telepathic, and because of that, uh, this ship does not really need sensors as long as you keep your slugs alive, so it doesn't have them. Uh, but the main interesting thing about this ship is its best weapon, the anti-bio beam. This weapon is incredible. It uh, it doesn't do any damage to the ship. It only does damage to uh, crew members. So what you do is you take out their shields with your lasers and your breach bomb, and then use the bio beam to just kill their people. Two hits from the anti-bio beam will kill anything except a rock, and the rock dies in three hits. So it's an incredibly powerful weapon. It can be a bit difficult to use because it doesn't pass through shields at all, um, but it's a very fun ship. Uh, it's Titan B. I have actually not tried. It starts with three slugs, and I think it's more focused on boarding because it starts with a crew teleporter but it does not have a med bay <laughs> so i think the idea is you can either use your missiles to hurt them or you can use the teleporter to board and hurt them and then use the other weapon which is a teleporting bomb that doesn't do any damage but heals all of your people so you can use that to uh to heal your people in their ship, 
or actually you can target your own ship with it so you can heal them in your ship. Um, I have never used this ship. I don't think it would go very well, but I can certainly try. Might be fun. Uh, the Adjudicator. I have used not very often, but could be fun. Uh, it is the, uh, the Zoltan ship that I've unlocked. It, as such, it starts with a Zoltan shield. Um, it has a missile launcher and a beam, and three Zoltan crew. So, pretty, uh, pretty self-explanatory. Um, yeah. Um, and those are the choices, so... Again, that's the Adjudicator, the Zoltan ship with the Zoltan shield, the Man of War, the slug ship with the anti-bio beam, the Stormwalker, the slug ship uh, with no medbay but with healing bombs and a teleporter, the Osprey, the uh, which is the Federation ship with the artillery beam uh, and a very diverse crew. Um, the Nysos, with a slightly less diverse crew, but a better artillery beam and more weapons. The Taurus, uh, which uses drones to attack. Uh, the Vortex, uh, the NG ship that actually uses drones to defend uh, while using lasers to attack. Or the Nisasio, the stealth ship that has no shields, but uh, relies on a cloaking device. So, uh, just leave your, uh, leave your suggestions or choices or whatever in the comments below. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.